Hi viewers, welcome to Ganesh's YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain you how to create this type of connection in Tecla structures with this example. Okay, let's start. Open Tecla structures with the Indian environment. Now I'm going to create beam. So click on street and select this beam and pick the first point here and pick the second point here. Right click on mouse interrupt. For render, we use the shortcut control 4. Now we're going to edit this beam. In our example, we have beam profile ISMB 250. So double click on this beam. Now click on here. Let's take beam profile ISMB 250. Now click on apply OK. Now click on modify to see the result. Close this window. Now you can see now this beam should be ISMB 250. Now we're going to split this beam into two parts. So click on edit and select this split. Now select this beam and pick the position at midpoint. Right look mouse interrupt. You can see now have two different beams. Now we're going to create connection between these two beams with this example like this so go to application components by using the shortcut control f in search bar type number 14 now you will get this component joining plate 14 you can see now have joining plate number 14 components so select this component and pick the main part as a this beam and pick the secondary part as a this beam now right click on mouse interrupt and close this window click on space right click on mouse to draw you Use the shortcut control R and pick the rotation point here and zoom it and you can scroll like this. Use the shortcut shift 4 for render view for a component. Now we're going to edit this connection according to this example. So double click on this connection. Click on this parts tab. In parts you can control this plate thickness. In our example we have plate thickness. You can see toll thickness. So enter here toll for primary and secondary end plate. So click on modify to see the result. You can see now this plate thickness should be 12 millimeter. Now coming to the bolts, click on this bolt tab. In bolts, you can control this bolt size. In our example, we have bolt 20 dia. So click on here and select this 20 dia bolt and tolerance. By default, we're going to take 2 millimeter. And we have edge distance here. 50 millimeter on both sides so enter here 50 in lengthwise connection now number of bolts in the horizontal direction we have 1 2 3 4 so enter here 4 and spacing we need to enter 100 millimeter and 130 and 100 so enter 100 and give space and 130 and give space and 100 now click on modify to see the result you can see you'll get like this now coming to widthwise, we have widthwise spacing, edge distance 40, 40. So enter here 40 and 40. Number of bolts in vertical direction, we have 1 and 2. So you need to enter here 2 and the spacing, we have 100 millimeters. So enter 100 millimeter. Now click on modify to see the result. You can see you'll get like this. Now click on modify, apply, OK. Now click on space, right click on mouse, redraw view. You can see. You'll get like this. Now coming to the stiffeners, you can create these stiffeners by using another component. So go to application components by using the shortcut control F in search bar type number 1030. Now you'll get this component stiffeners 1030 component. So select this component and pick the main part as a this beam and pick the position. Zoom it here. You need to pick at the end of this beam. You can see at here now right click on mouse interrupt and close this window click on space right click on mouse read now i'm going to edit this connection stiffener after that you can place in this direction also so double click on this plate now click on this parts tab in parts you can control this plate thickness in our example we have plate thickness six millimeters so enter here six and six now click on modify to see the result here you can see now this plate thickness should be 6 millimeter. Now coming to width, we have width here 90 millimeter. So enter here 90 and 90. Click on modify. You can see now this width of this plate should be 90 millimeter. Now coming to the height, in our example we have height 100 millimeter here. So enter 100 millimeter. Click on modify. You can see now this plate length should be 100 millimeter now coming to this chamfer click on this picture tab in picture you can control this chamfer value at the bottom we're going to take here 
10 millimeter by default at this junction here so let's take here 10 millimeter and here also 10 millimeter for this chamfer value at the bottom click on modify you can see now the chamfer value should be 10 millimeter at this junction now coming to this chamfer value we have 30 millimeter so enter here 30 and 30 at the top plate and at the bottom tip plate also let's take 30 and 30 now click on modify you can see now the chamfer should be 30 30 millimeter now click on modify apply ok click on space right click on must now we're going to apply the same stiffness on other side so go to application components by using the shortcut control f select this stiffness component and pick the main part as a beam and pick the position at middle or end like this right click on mouse interrupt close this window click on space right click on mouse zero view you can see you will get like this okay that's it about how to create this type of connection in tech class structures with this example if you like this video please like it and share it if you have any doubts please comment below for more tech class structure related videos please go to my channel youtube.com slash gany sk i will provide this link in the description below of this video please go through it and come here under videos you can find out so many tech structure related videos i hope this video is might be helpful to you and at the top right corner please click on subscribe button if you subscribe you will get notification or updates when upload a new video so please click on subscribe okay thank you